Good morning, everybody. It's day three of my 12 days of Christmas Facebook Lives, and I have two more Gnome for the Holiday projects for you today. I'm going to give everybody a few minutes to jump on, and we'll see if I can find myself that way. Make sure I can see your comments. All right, hopefully you guys are having a good day. I'm, I know lots of you probably are off today, which is awesome. Um, I'm going to start working on some cooking after we're done today with our Facebook Live in preparation for tomorrow. Um, let's see, where am I? All right, looks like I am in the right place. Let's just make sure. Yep, done. Post. Okay. Okay, good morning. Good morning. Okay, good. I see you guys jumping on. So today, two more Gnome for the Holidays stamp set or projects. This stamp set makes it so easy. Um, sometimes for Facebook Fridays, I have a hard time coming up with three projects that I like. <laughs> sometimes. This one, I could have gone all day. This is so, so, so cute. These little guys are the best. So we're going to make two more of these. I've got a card and a money holder for you. Um, but I want to make sure you guys heard about the online extravaganza. Did you guys hear? It's been extended um, for another day till the end of today. Um, it is, there were some technical glitches yesterday, which I didn't experience. I didn't even hear uh, anybody. None of you told me you were having problems. Um, but lucky for us, that means it's extended another day. So if you didn't get to shop the extravaganza one day sale yesterday, they have made it a two day sale. So that's very exciting. Good morning. Hi, Denise. Thank you, um, for the compliment. I like these earrings too. They're made of leather. They're nice. All right, good morning, Nina. Okay, I think I'm gonna switch you guys over. Let's see, I've got a full house this morning. I've made everybody go to their rooms <laughs> and hide and take the dogs with them this morning. Even my husband is here and I said, please go, go. I'm distracted when they're in the other room. They have to go, they have to go somewhere else so that I can focus on what I'm doing. Otherwise I'm listening to what they're saying and what they're doing and oh, so. We'll get, we'll get started quickly today so that they can all come out of their rooms. <laughs> all right, so the holiday extravaganza was supposed to only be one day, right? Tuesday, which was yesterday, but they've extended it another day. So this should say, and Wednesday, which is today, but you only have until the end of the day. Remember, it's 10% off almost everything in this catalog. Yesterday, I posted um, a, pic a few pictures of things that were my favorite things, some of my favorite things in the sale, um, but really, there's lots of options. There's an exclusion list right here, but honestly, it's not very much. Um, there's some big things like the cut and emboss machine is not included, stamp and seal is not included, um, but almost everything else is. So that is exciting. The other part of that is that I'm extending my bonus. You know, I had to pull this out of the recycle bin because I threw it away. I didn't think I'd have to show it to you again. Um, <laughs> but here it is. Um, if you spend $50 with me using the host code, you'll see it here. You also will see it on my blog post today at pinkpuckeroo.com. $50 gets you a pack of free snowflakes. $75 gets you a pack of red rhinestones. $100 gets you a pack of free dimensionals and they're cumulative. So if you spend $100, you're going to get all three. $125, you're going to get this host set. Do, do I have it right here? A merry hello. And if you spend $150, there was a typo on the first email. I fixed it since then. 150, you're gonna get a pack of handmade cards from me. It looks like this. There's 10 cards and 10 envelopes. Just a mix of cards that I've made, okay? So you have until the end of the day. Don't wait until the end, because you never know what will happen. You'll forget, you'll fall asleep, or you'll have some kind of technical problems. So get it done early today. Okay, so Pink Buckaroo, 12 Days of Christmas. This is day three right here, known for the holidays. Um, I feel like my camera's a little bit crooked. Let me see if I can fix that. Tomorrow, let's see, I'm going to zoom in just a bit because I'm going to do some coloring today. Let's see if it'll let me. Oh, there we go. There we go. Day four will be Friday. Tomorrow, I'm taking the day off. 
All of us should be taking the day off tomorrow, right? And resting and spending time with family, immediate family, <laughs> inside your bubble this year. Um, but then I'll be back Friday with Trimming the Town, um, Friday at 10 a.m. I'm still going to stick with 10 a.m., although I might push that out later in the day. If I do, I'll let you know. I'll post it an update tomorrow, okay? And then Saturday, we'll do Rustic Retreat, okay? All of it should be in the morning, and there will be two projects each day. All right, so I hope you will join me for those um, those days coming up. Okay, how about a prize? Yesterday's winner is Melanie Foy. Um, she's winning the Sweetest Time Bundle. Melanie, um, I don't know if I have your mailing address or not. Melanie, if you will email me your mailing address, I will get this out into the mail for you on uh, Friday. There's no mail tomorrow, so on Friday. Okay, congratulations. Um... Let's see, yesterday's winner was Wendy Carr. I haven't mailed yours, Wendy. I'll get it out, I promise. I'll get yours out with Melanie. Um, so how do you win a prize? Well, you go over today's blog post. Let's look at it because some people were having a hard time finding it. Remember, um, pinkbuckaroo.com is my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. And when you scroll down, I will upload the video right here. See under the second project, there's the measurements. It says a complete supply list for both of these projects at the end. Then I'll put the video. And then it says I'm giving away prizes every single day. So if you click that link right there, all you have to do is uh, give me your name, your email address, and then just a, I ask a silly question every day. That's all you have to do to enter. You don't have to do anything else. Everybody is eligible to win, okay? Um, just a... Um, Another reminder about the sale, when you go to stampinup.com, you can click shop and save. If you click on the link straight from my blog, it will take you here as well, and it will use the host code. It will put the host code already into your um, cart, so you don't have to do that yourself. But if for some reason it's not there, here is your cart where you will see all the things that you've ordered. And right here it says coupon code. There's no coupons right now, but there is a host code you can enter and paste right there. Okay. All right. So let's go back over here, pull this up. Why am I just seeing a blank? Oh, okay. It's because I'm behind on my iPad. That's so weird. It's always such a, a delay. Okay. Today's prizes. I've got two prizes today. Um, the itty bitty Christmas stamp set. This is a must have stamp set, my friends. Um, I use it all the time. It's uh, red rubber, small, so it doesn't take up too much um, space on your card, and it is full of how many? 18 Christmas sentiments, okay? So I'm going to give away two of these on Friday. All you have to do is go over to my blog, click on that link I just showed you, answer the questions, and you will be entered to win. Okay, we are ready. Remember yesterday, if you didn't see yesterday, go back and check it out. We made this cute little card and a Kit Kat holder um, with Gnome for the Holidays. And today we're gonna make another card and a money holder. So let's get started. Um, this is the card we're gonna make. And you know what, I'm gonna pull over my chair today because I do, I color much better. I don't know about you guys, but when I color, if I am standing up, I don't do so hot, so I'm going to sit down because this is quite a bit of coloring. Okay, the, the DSP that I'm using is the Heart um, Heartwarming Hugs Designer Series paper, you know, at the very beginning of the holiday catalog. I love that paper, and I have kind of been hoarding it, but now it's time to use it. So that's what we'll be doing today, and I actually am using it on both projects. Um, we're also going to use those red rhinestones. This is one of the things you can get for free. Um, if you order with me by the end of the day. Um, I have cut an old olive card base, just half a sheet of cardstock, cut at four and a fourth, and then scored at five and a half. And I have a piece of mossy meadow that is four by five and a fourth. Remember, these measurements will be over, or they are over at pinkbucker.com right now um, under the photo. I'm not typing up PDFs every day, but the measurements are there on my blog. Now here's the designer series paper. This is my very favorite pattern and I want to use it on all the projects but I'm trying to keep myself from doing that. So we're going to use the other side. I kind of like this monochromatic background so that the the little coloring the colored images will pop right off. This is a piece of 
DSP, and I feel like maybe I said it was two inches, but I'm thinking now that I'm looking at it, it's two and a half. So two and a half by five and a fourth. All right, so I've done two die cuts already. This is um, Old Olive, and it's the Stitched So Sweetly dies. Those are on sale. Really, really good set of dies. And then the um, Nested Stitched Label dies. I think that's what they're called. <laughs> they're in the supply list on my blog. They're on sale as well. And these are really good. These dies are really thick and strong and you can cut through two, um, uh, two layers of cardstock. So I really, really like them. All right, we're gonna stamp the little tree house in memento black. Cindy, you talked yourself out of this set. Oh. It's such a good one. It is such a good one. Now, the top of the house is missing, right? So we're just gonna stamp it at the top of our die cut like that. So you're only seeing the, the bottom section of it. Um, and then we're gonna get this guy. We used him yesterday as well. He's going into the woods with his little Christmas ornament. All right. Okay, now my colors that I'm using are real red. Old Olive, Mango Melody, Crumb Cake, and of course, Petal Pink for his little face. Okay, let's start with him. We'll start with him. We're gonna color him pretty much the same that we did yesterday. And while I'm coloring, you guys, I want you to tell me about your Thanksgiving. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving, and um, I wanna know what you guys are cooking. We, my mom and I are splitting the duties and we, <laughs> you know, you always cook too much. Oh, at least we always cook way too much, but we tried to pare it down this year and we just couldn't do it. I ended up sending my husband to the grocery store this morning to make one of the dishes that my grandmother always made. It was a corn, like a corn casserole that has sliv slivered almonds on the top and it's so good and rich and fattening and it's my favorite and I'm probably the one that eats it. Like, I don't even know if everybody else eats it. So we decided not to make that. But then today, my husband and I went for a walk early this morning, and then we were both like, oh, we really want that corn. <laughs> so he went this morning and got it. I am also responsible for making the sweet potatoes. Um, I make a sweet potato that has um, like a, um, a crust on the top that's uh, brown sugar and like self-rising flour so it gets kind of puffy and crisp and it's very fattening and it's very very delicious um, I'm also making the salad and the mashed potatoes so what are you guys making um, you found a vegetarian stuffed turkey breast Tina I'm impressed that is some that is some pretty impressive a uh, commitment there with that um, I'm not sure. You know, they've come a long way with the, the vegetarian stuff. Those You can get a veggie burger these days that tastes totally like a real burger. So I'm not going to knock it until you report back and tell us how that tofu, what did you call it? Tofurky. <laughs> that is hilarious. Are you a vegetarian, Tina? Um, my mom, so one thing we have started doing the last few years is to order the turkey from a restaurant and then make all the sides. Cause I made a turkey one time many years ago and I swore I'd never do it again. Um, I don't like touching, I know it sounds weird, but meat on the bone, I don't like, it grosses me out. So a turkey totally sent me over the edge. Um, but this year, usually we order it from a barbecue place and my mom decided to go small this year and order just a turkey breast and it was tiny, you guys. It says it, oh, I have two dark crumb cakes. That's crazy, I have the wrong. Hold on, let me grab the other one. Let's see, I have the lids on the wrong one. Um, it said it would feed eight people and it literally is like this big. <laughs> but my um, brother also is doing a brisket, so we're gonna have brisket. We'll have plenty to eat. I'm not worried about it. And honestly, you guys, I don't even want the turkey. I want all the other stuff. I uh, rarely even get the turkey um, during Thanksgiving. I mean, eat it. I rarely, rarely even put it on my plate. So what are you guys doing? Um, 
I'm still seeing vegetarian turkey. That is so funny. Deep fried M Missy. Okay. I have always wanted to do a deep fried turkey. I've heard they're so good, but it scares me. Ugh. You hear horror stories about the fires that those things start, right? I don't know. But I guess if you know what you're doing. All right, so on this tree, I'm doing light. And then I'm going to take my dark. And I'm just going to kind of go over the lines a little bit with the dark. Um, like that. And then I'm going to go back with the light and just blend all of that in. My mom also is making, we're gonna have stuffed mushrooms and stuffing. And then my brother's brisket. I can't remember what else. Oh, she was making all the desserts too. Mm. Oh, Christine, you're recovering from surgery. Well, good, I'm glad you have friends that will bring you a plate. Well, that's kind of good. You get out of, you get out of the cooking duties this year. Kate, hi Kate, you've done a deep fried turkey, no problem. I would love, I've never even tried it. There's um, a guy in my neighborhood who is, um, he's a food truck owner. He has a, he has a real popular food truck in town. And he posted yesterday on Facebook that he overbought turkeys and he was selling deep fried turkeys. Um, I was tempted to try it, to buy one from him. All right, now I'm gonna make this little path here so that he's not just floating around in white space, right? And I'm just gonna just kind of do it with a light crumb cake, All right? And then I'm gonna take my dark and do the stones like that. What else, what else? Let's do the, let's do the door. We're gonna make it a red door. I'm gonna make the handle crumb cake. You guys are making me wanna try a deep fried turkey now. So many of you have done it. No fires. Oh, I don't know, I don't know if I trust my husband to do it. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Scary, scary. I'm sure it's better than, it's. they say those fried turkeys are what, juicier and not as dry as a, a turkey you do in the oven. I'm not sure why we're doing a brisket this year. We've never done a brisket before. I guess just he, want, he wanted to cook a brisket, I don't know. Okay, there we go. Last night we went over to my mom's and she made super nachos and apple dumplings. Oops, I wasn't gonna do that red. Oh well, I guess I'll do that light red. Um, it's kind of a tradition that we eat like junk. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, a couple nights before so that we don't have to really cook. And it was delicious. But now I feel like, oh, I shouldn't have eaten that. Regret. Um, You think, Karen, you think I should buy the food truck turkey? Well, I mean, we already have so much food. I don't know. I don't know. I'll check and see today if he's got any left. I would like, I would like to try it. Maybe I should arrange that for next year. You know, well, since I know that he does them here in the neighborhood, I will do that. All right, I think I'm done here. I think I'm done. We've got the lights. I used Old Olive, Mango Melody, Real Red, Crumb Cake, and that's it. Now, I'm going to cut off this point. See, I want it to be right here on the edge of this die cut. So I'm going to take it, and I'm going to cut it off as far as I can go, right on his hand there, okay, to make sure that it's going to fit. All right, let's stamp the sentiment. There's no place like gnome for the Christmas season. There's no place like gnome for the Christmas season. We're gonna do that in Mossy Meadow. They are on that old olive. Let's grab our dimensionals. Outside on the driveway with a fire extinguisher nearby. Melissa, <laughs> see that's funny. So how long does it take to deep fry a turkey? Does it take a long time? I feel like it would take a long time, but maybe not. Maybe it's faster. I don't know, that is a good way to get the guys out of your hair. Go outside and fry the turkey. 
Well, I watched the Christmas parade and drank hot cocoa. <laughs> I try to get all the cooking done the day before. See that there? I layered all of those with dimensionals. You know, like get it all ready. So then you just have to put it in the oven. It works well. The only problem is that I only have one oven. Oven. I don't have a double oven. My mom has a double oven. And sometimes it gets tricky trying to get it all cooked at the same time. It doesn't take long, Kate. Um, oh, Michelle, that's the only reason I like Thanksgiving. Yep, because Darcy said the, the leftovers. Isn't that the truth? You know, it's funny. I was saying that we weren't going to make that corn casserole, and I that's what I was thinking. I love the leftover corn casserole. <laughs> so I got to make it so I can have the leftovers. Oh, so much food. So much food. All right, I don't know. I had, oh, here it is. Remember, I was super organized and suddenly I couldn't find this. All right, so I used the Real Red braided linen trim across the top. Oh, I've got too much. Let's pad that down. This is the Take Your Pick tool. Hey, is the Take Your Pick tool in the sale? Does anybody know? I didn't check. I only checked to make sure those dies that we were using today were. Take Your Pick tool would make a great stocking stuffer, don't you think? I think it would. I think it would. Okay. Done. What do you guys think? Cute, right? I like this card. Um, how I like how the background is dark and all monochromatic so that these um, images just kind of pop off with the, the vivid colors. So cute. And I did not put a white piece on the inside, but you probably could. Well, I wouldn't have to. Old Olive isn't too dark. You could write your message on there, but you could put a white piece on there and then stamp one of the other gnomes in there too. So cute. All right, let's do our next project. Now, our next project was inspired by my friend Sue. I showed you her card that she sent me yesterday. So I liked how she stamped him on crumb cake. And it looks like she colored him with Stampin' Blends. Um, the beard is most likely our white watercolor pencil. So that's what I decided to do, um, watercolor pencils on crumb cake. So it's a crumb cake stitched um, rectangle, scalloped rectangle. And then, so I'm gonna do the same thing and we're gonna color it with our watercolor pencils, okay? All right, so my youngest daughter wants to, a PC, a gaming PC that cost a thousand dollars. And she's out of her mind if she thinks that I'm going to buy that. So she's gonna have to save her money for a long time. So she's asked for money for Christmas. So I made a money holder. Really easy. If you have teenagers in your life, that's what they want. They want money. So you can make this cute little um, money holder. And I will probably just put this in her stocking. Um, that way, the, the money won't get lost, hopefully, <laughs> on Christmas morning because it'll be in this cute little envelope. All right, so let's go ahead and make it. Let's make the holder first. Let me, I've got everything buried here on the tray. I'm going to use crumb cake cardstock that measures eight by seven. And these measurements are over on my blog today. Um, we're going to just score the long side. It's pretty easy. Just two score lines at two and a half and five and a half. Okay. So two and a half, let me make sure. Yeah. Five and a half right there. So the middle is bigger than the top and the bottom. Okay. So it's going to fold like this. See that? Okay. And then I've got this paper. Again, this is the Heartwarming Hugs Designer Series paper. I'm using a different pattern this time. I don't really, hmm, I don't want the stripes. I want that hound's tooth. I like the hound's tooth pattern a lot. Um, Michelle, your son saved his own money for a while and built his own gaming PC. Well, she's been talking about building her own gaming PC and I'm like, okay, we, we know nothing about that. <laughs> So, my friend, you're going to have to do that on your own or get somebody else to do it for you. Um, let's see. Where, which way am I going with this? We're going to put this one right here. I have put the um, designer series paper on a mossy meadow piece of cardstock. And I'm going to put that right on the front like that. 
And then this piece of DSP, I'm gonna put right here and I'm gonna punch. Let's see if I can punch through both. I think I can. Yep, there we go. I didn't wanna glue it down unless I knew for sure I could punch through both. My daughter doesn't need a gaming PC. That's why I told her she's on her own. She's got an Xbox. She's got a, you know, a Switch. What does she need a, what does she need a gaming PC for? I don't know. It's all about the gaming these days. All right, we're just going to adhere this on the sides like that. I will say she's done a pretty good job. She's been saving for a few months. She's been doing work for me and uh, asked for money for her birthday. So she's doing good. All right, so there, it just folds down like that. I mean, really, it's just a little simple envelope. I've got a piece of crumb cake that is one by eight and a half. Honestly, I didn't even measure it. It may be a little bit too long. Let's see, we're just gonna fold it around. Oh no, that's perfect. We're gonna fold it around like that. Oh, come on. Oh my goodness, don't do this to me today. There we go. If your Stamp and Seal Plus tears your cardstock, just pick it up and start somewhere else. Um, I find that it tears the crumb cake for some reason. I don't know. I don't know why. All right, so you can see how that slides. Now the ribbon. I'm going to take the ribbon. This is our real, real red sheer ribbon. It is in the mini catalog. And I'm going to tie a bow at the very top because our um, scalloped rectangle is pretty big and it's going to cover most of this. So I want the bow on the top. You're right, Trisha. She might one of these days be a millionaire gamer. She would love that. She's obsessed with those people. Mr. Beast is one of these guys who is a millionaire gamer and sells his sweatshirts for $75. Oh, I know it is who would have ever thought you know 20 years ago that somebody could be a famous gamer isn't it bizarre all right we're gonna stamp him in memento right there and we'll stamp the sentiment right there now I will tell you guys a little something about him you can see how his hat is popped up and that's because I messed up coloring the hat um the first time so I so in, in order to to cover it up and not have to start over I just stamped it over here and colored it and cut it out so I like it and I think we'll do that again but you don't have to you can just leave it flat like that if you don't want to do any fussy cutting okay so let's see We'll use, I don't want cherry cobbler. We do have real red, don't we? Somewhere, real red. I'm gonna color his hat. Oh, actually, I'm gonna color this hat because I'm gonna cut it out. You know what? I just stamped that in memento. We gotta redo that. We gotta do it in, and it stays on. The reason we gotta do that and stays on is because we're gonna use a blender. And when you use blenders or um, aqua painters, you have to use stays on or it will bleed, which I could tell as soon as I started coloring it, mm, something's not right. But luck lucky for us, cardstock has two sides, right? Is he crooked? Well, maybe he's dancing. He's, he's going, yay, money. Okay, start again. All right, let's color this in with real red. Am I, I have zoomed in, I have to forget, I have to put my stuff up high on the, on the desk. All right, so I'm gonna go around. One thing I like about the watercolor pencils Specifically, oh, I colored the hat again. I don't need to color that hat. It's this hat I need to color. Specifically, it's because there's a white. 
Um, we don't have a white um, stamp and blend marker. Um, we do have the white chalk marker, but it's not the same. But the white watercolor pencil works really well. It colors nicely. All right, so color him in like this. Over here, what color did I use for his nose? I think, I think, if I remember correctly, I took Flirty Flamingo and just very lightly colored that like that. Okay, now I've got this blender pen. A blender pen is like a marker that has just, it's just kind of like clear liquid in it. So it'll help smooth out um, your pencil strokes. It'll just make it all um, like it's kind of, you know, watercolored a little bit. And then you can just run it dry like that on the side and it will um, run, you know, it'll clear off the color that you used so that you can go to the next color. I don't use blender pens quite as much as I used to, um, but they are great. They, they offer much better control as compared to an aqua painter. Oh my, look at that. <laughs> so something happened to it. Looks like it had trouble in the pencil sharpener. All right, and then we'll take, let's see, what is this? Oh, I, why does that not have a name on it? Did I, was it down here? And I, I, that's weird. It doesn't have a name. You know what? This came with a kit. That's why it doesn't have a name. That was the, oh, what was that color called that we all loved so much? Um, what is it? What is it? It was uh, Lemon Lime Twist. Is that what it was? Lemon Lime? Was that that color? It came in a tw in a um, came in a kit one time. This is old olive, right? Yeah, old olive. Lemon lime twist. That was a good color. Maybe that'll come back someday. Okay, there. Now we've got that done. But we will fussy cut that hat, pop it on, and we'll be almost done. Now remember, if you don't want to fussy cut. You don't have to, just leave it like it is. You don't have to do this part. This was just born out of me making a mistake the first time. When I, for some reason I colored it and it got muddy. I can't remember what I did to it, but it looked gross. So I was like, mm, we need to redo that. All right, so there we got the little hat. And let's get a mini dimensional. And we'll put that on that hat. That hat doesn't look so hot either. And we will put that on there. Now, he's he is a little gnome. He looks a little like Santa. So I think we need to do some Wink of Stella on him. Okay, let's do his hat too. Because it's looking a little dull. There we go. How cute. Run that clear. A little of the bell. All right, one thing I forgot. Let me grab my sponge. And my white ink this is something sue did on her card that i really liked i'm just going to get a sponge with my um my white ink and go around the edge like this this is the uninked craft pad that comes with a white ink uh, refill and you you ink it up yourself we're gonna use this again on Thursday. The projects I have for Thursday are my favorite projects I've made so far. I can't wait to show them. Okay, let's finish this up so I can let my family out of their rooms. <laughs> my husband was rolling his eyes at me like, okay, I'll go in there, whatever. All right, so see, I'm just gonna sandwich that like that. So see how, whoops, that's crooked. See how that bow is just there at the top? like that and then it slides like that okay last but not least let's add a few snowflakes do you guys give money as gifts thanks tina do you guys give money um usually i like to do gift cards but when someone specifically like Addie, she's saving money when someone specifically asks for money this would be a great a great little holder to fancy it up so that it doesn't look like you know, a lame gift. 
All right, done. Okay, you guys, there we go. There are today's projects. Whoops, I just slid that right out. There are today's projects. I hope you like them. Don't forget that I will be back on Friday morning at 10 a.m. unless I change that, but I don't think I will. 10 a.m. and we will be making two, oh, trimming the town projects. Um, don't forget, if you wanna take advantage of the sale and my goodies, my freebies, that those orders have to be in by today. Here are my four gnome. Let's throw Sue's in too, cause hers is really cute. There we go. All right, you guys have a great Thanksgiving. I will see you on Friday morning. Woo, be safe, all right? And uh, don't count your calories tomorrow, okay? <laughs> I will see you guys on Friday. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Bye.